Alright guys, welcome back to another video with me Kevin Twist and I'd like to start this video off with thanking you guys for the response on the opening video, episode 0 of the Edinburgh City Career Mode. That's going to start very soon, as soon as I get my hands on video 22, the video will be recorded and will be out as soon as I can possibly like get out basically. As soon as it's able to be out, it will be out, so just keep an eye on that. But, we're here for one thing only today and that's Scottish Rubble this week. We're going to start with the League Cup, so that's the Premier Sports Cup. And we'll start that right now. Is Dundee hosting St. Johnson, the current holders of the League Cup, as they done the double last season? St. Johnson went to Dundee and they picked up a 2 0 win. I'm also speaking about 2 0 wins. Rangers hosted Livingston, who the week prior managed to get a shock result over Celtic at Livingston. But Rangers beat them 2-0 at Ibrox, and that's day two sides into the semi-finals. And that was the Wednesday results. And then we moved on to Thursday, Celtic hosted championship side Rafe Rovers, and Celtic won 3-0. Pretty easy game. Couple of alright goals, and Celtic are through to the semis. And then we had Dundee United coming off a derby day win in the Dundee derby. And they're coming in with all this confidence and they lose 3-1 at home to Hibs. Big result for Hibs. Good away win for them. Interesting final four. Will St. Johnson keep the title, you know? Will Rangers manage to get a title that Steve Gerrard hasn't won yet in Scotland? Will Hibs get a cup this season? Will Celtic bounce back and get a treble or some sort of cups this season? That they failed to do last. We'll find out soon as St. Johnson and Celtic will play and Rangers and Hibs will play in the next round. And we're also talking about, you know, non Scottish Premiership football, let's just talk about Edinburgh City quickly. We'll just quickly talk about their away win at Anna and Athletic, at the 1 3 1. You know, might as well keep you a little bit up to date before we do our full series on them, you know. But then we move on to the weekend's action of the top flight of Scottish football. And we'll start with Dundee at home again. And this time they managed to lose just by a goal to Rangers 1-0. Joe Rebo getting the goal. Pretty good result for Rangers. A win's a win and keeps them top of the league. Hearts keep up their great form from the start of this season with a 3-0 win for the Jambos against Livingston and then the other result on Saturday Motherwell managed to just get past Ross County two goals to one two one win for Motherwell and I she's fine thanks before anyone clips this up <laughs> um, on to Sunday's results we have a great thrilling match here you know goals for both sides it was St. Mirren 3 Aberdeen 2 we've seen you know the Celtic Hero Scott Brown's getting his first goal for his new club Aberdeen. St. Mirren managed to get a big win, you've got to say. Aberdeen having a very bad start to life under the new manager. Will he be the first manager sacked? Is Stephen Glass going to go? I guess we'll see. Uh, but, you know, a big club like Aberdeen, you've got to be delivering better results than he has so far this season, you know. McKinnis left and he was got a safe pair of hands right now they don't look very safe and they've, they've got a decent squad you know a lot of experience in certain positions with Bruni and Hayes and all that that Ramirez up front they've got looks pretty decent as well they've kept Ferguson like there is decent players on that side they've got to be doing better than what they have done and then we move on to Oh, a shock result involving Celtic as they drop more points. And you're slowly thinking, could the league be over by October again? But will the old firm sides be fighting for the Conference League? We'll have to see. But Celtic drop another couple points. Uh, it was a bit of an interesting thing, you know, we had a penalty shout for Dundee United, which probably should have been given. But Starfelt is 100% foul, two hands, right in the back of him. So it wasn't a penalty for me because it was a foul on Starfelt before that. So the ref cancelled that out. Some poor decisions from Clancy. Utter clown of Scottish football. 
most of the refs are atrocious to be fair, but he lost the plot in that Celtic Dundee United game. And uh, the man that Dundee United fans will be pretty happy with the result. Um, as Hawk scores again, scores the Dolby winner, then scores an equaliser for a badass header. And it was about two or so minutes it felt like when you're being in the stadium. Like it was like right after, we're just done celebrating, we sit back down, and boom, that they score. It was like it was so, so quick. But, you know, at least it isn't another loss. And whilst we're speaking about people not losing at home, Hibs managed to pick up a big 1 0 win over St. Johnson, the side they failed to beat in the Scottish Cup final last season. And it's a big win, you know. Martin Boyle gets a goal, it's from the penalty, it was a great celebration that he's got the water bottle. It's probably the thumbnail, unless I find a cool looking image, which I probably won't. But Boyle, Mike Martin Boyle, from the penalty spot, in front of the Easter Road faithful, gets a big win. And you got to say, Hebs have had a great start, <laughs> Hearts have had a great start, Rangers have had a decent start for their standards. Like, it's an interesting thing, it's just Celtic slacking behind the, the big four, really. Well, I guess Aberdeen, you could say, is a part of the big four, technically, but, you know. There's a lot of teams doing well, you know, you've got Hibs in second, it was Hearts just before they won, it was like, it's going to be quite interesting, I think, come near the end of the season if Hearts and Hibs can keep this up, because we kind of know that Celtic will probably come back and get either first or second, but that's not a guarantee, especially if Hearts and Hibs can find a way to keep this up throughout a season, but it's they're not used to, you know, Hibs got thirds of the first time in so many years only last season. Like this is like a big challenge for them to progress or stay the same. I think fourths at Mill that they want. Hearts top six is a brilliant uh, season for them for the first season back. But they are looking that maybe top four European place could be on the cards if they can keep this up. You know, I feel like Boyle, uh, not Boyle, uh, Boyce, <laughs> keeping him was a big thing when you go into the championship of Scottish football. And I think they've done well to keep a couple of their players and add people like uh, the Everton boy in the centre mid role, getting Gary McKay Stevens even when they're in the championship. Building quite a nice squad. I feel like the Edinburgh clubs are doing quite well. Rangers maybe slightly underperformed from what they could, but they're still staying on top, which is what you need to do to get another title. Celtic, the squad's not quite there. The manager's are there that they need. The squad's not quite. So we'll, we'll see come end of the season. I think it'll be very interesting coming that latter part to see do Celtic get top two, can they keep up, what happens at Aberdeen, does Stephen Glass turn it round, could we see someone like a St Marin or Motherwell sneak back into that top section you know, or something just like that, it's always quite interesting with Scottish football but yeah, thank you for listening to me this video, I'll see you guys next time and the next video will be Edinburgh City FC Career Club Career Mode. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.